though the East End is set to get sideswiped by Earl, are they prepared for the powerful storm? News 12 Long Island senior correspondent Drew Scott continues our team coverage. He's live in Montauk. Drew? Good evening, Jody. We're here in Montauk, and uh, as you know, a lot of the hotels have food, and they've got lots of supplies stocked up. They've got emergency generators just in case the lights go out. But look behind me right now. You'll see the surf and the winds. They're really kicking up now. If storm preparations were underway, you wouldn't have known it by driving through Montauk this morning. Dozens of shoppers milled around the Thursday farmer's market, and tourists jammed the streets. The only sign of looming trouble was this red flag displayed at the beaches. No swimming because of dangerous rip currents and high waves, according to lifeguard John McGeehan. It's a uh, very early part of the uh, storm is beginning to show. You're right recommending now. no swimming and no surfing? Oh, we're not only recommending, we're demanding at this point. Surfers are still on their own. We rarely pull surfers out of the water. But Montauk Chamber of Commerce President Paul Monte says storm warnings haven't scared off any customers. We're encouraging everybody to come on out, enjoy the spectacular performance by the ocean, and you know, sit out the, the evening on Friday and be ready to vacation on Saturday. While East Hampton Town plans to set up an emergency shelter as a precaution, and Hither Hills tent campers may be urged to leave later tonight due to high winds, it didn't seem to bother vacationers like Lee and Sarah Probreskin from New York City. It's not clear to us yet, I don't know whether it's clear to anyone else, as to how strong it's going to be. So uh, we'll wait and see, but uh, likely we'll stay. But others, like Francis Baines of Springs, say they aren't taking any chances. Considering that we had a really bad storm a couple of weeks ago, so we have, yes, we are taking precautions, stocking up on water, candles, flashlights, and we pray for the, you know, for the best. So it's almost business as usual here in Montauk, despite Hurricane Earl. However, today we've seen two brides already, and they've got over 100 booked guests. Not bad for a Labor Day weekend coming up. We're live in Montauk. Drew Scott, News 12 Long Island. Ron?